<clears throat> hello, 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 and welcome in. Pastor Melvin Jones here along with my lovely wife, Pastor Evangelist Linda Jones. Welcome into our Wednesday night Bible study. It's Wednesday night, the 10th day of April 2024. We're into the second quarter of the year. First quarter is gone, January, February, and March. We're into the second quarter mm -hmm. of the year. The first quarter is gone. It's gone. Yes, We're it into is. the second quarter. Amen. And our April sermon series is reset, reclaim, and rebuild. Thank God for January. We had a great time in January with uh, our series, which is the theme for the whole year, Rehobert. Uh -huh. The Lord has made room, room for you. Yeah. Then in February, we got into the series, Stewardship. Mm -hmm. Stewardship. And then in March, uh, we uh, talked about expect more, mm -hmm. expect more from God. God yeah. wants you to have more. Mm -hmm. It's all in line with our overall theme for the year, Rehobot. God has made room for you. Oh, yeah. Not just Pastor Jones mm -hmm. and Pastor Evangelist Linda Jones, but God has made room for Brittany Cohen and yeah. made room for Deacon Stephen Flowers and made room for everybody on the live right now that's logging in. Amen. God has made room for you. Yes, he has. Amen. Mm -hmm. How you doing, baby? I'm great. How about you? Great, great, great. All Love right. the shirt you got on oh, yeah. tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. I'm sweating a little bit tonight. If you're logging in tonight, wherever you're logging in from, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Don't forget to uh, uh, hit the like button, mm -hmm. hit the share button. If you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. You'll be informed whenever we get ready to go live. Oh, yeah. Sister Tasha Smith, working aboard. Belinda Lewis in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Welcome aboard. They had snow last week, a oh, week before wow. last. Yeah. Wow. Sister Bobby Thompson, God bless you. Our Minister of Education at Victory in Christ Christian Church. Oh, Sister yeah. Bobby Thompson. Oh, yeah. Amen. Sister Mary Ship. You've been in my spirit, Sister Ship, been praying mightily for you. Oh, God yeah. is able. Yes, he is. Amen. Yes, he is. Amen, amen, amen. Mm, yeah. Amen. It's 701, one minute past seven o'clock. And uh, we're going to jump into this lesson, baby. It's a great it's lesson a great on lesson. tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're dealing with reset, reclaim, and rebuild. Yeah. Yeah. Reset, reclaim, and rebuild. Yeah. Yeah. This, this past Sunday, we preached. Reset your faith, mm -hmm. reset your focus, mm -hmm. and reset your future. Oh, man. Amen. When you reset your faith and reset your focus, you reset your future in God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And last week, we talked about reset, reclaim, and rebuild. Mm -hmm. And tonight, Sister Dee Dee Lynn Mason, Minister Michelle Jones, Sister Linda Austin, tonight, 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 the uh, lesson tonight is reset. Mm -hmm. My mindset. Ooh. Reset your mindset. Oh my. Lord, reset my mindset. Yeah. Lord, reset my mindset. Mm -hmm. Sister Sicily, Sicily, welcome in. God mm -hmm. bless you. Amen. Reset my mindset. Ah. Amen. Mm. Reset my mindset, mm -hmm. Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God wants us to come back to Him. Yes. Amen. Yes. God wants mind. us to come back to Him. Mm -hmm. And we come to him by accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Uh -huh. And then once we accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, God wants us to reset our mindset mm. so we can reset our lives. Amen. Then we can reclaim mm -hmm. all he has promised us. Yeah. And we can rebuild our lives in the image of God. This is a good lesson tonight. It's deep mm -hmm. now. Salvation is a divine reset. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Salvation is a divine reset. Yeah. Salvation is God restarting his life in us. Mm -hmm. Salvation is God restarting uh, his life in us. That's good right there, Pastor. Salvation mm -hmm. is the first step mm -hmm. of God moving us from who we are to who he wants us to be. My God. My Salvation God. is a changed life. Yeah. Yeah. A transformed life. Mm -hmm. A life that's new in God. Mm -hmm. And a change is not called back to our normal. God is calling us back to him. He's not calling us back to normal. He's calling us back to him. Yes. As 
we were in the beginning mm -hmm. with Adam and Eve. Yeah. God, God is calling us back to his normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> back to the normal he had with us mm -hmm. in the garden with Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God doesn't want us just to come to church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. God wants us to come back to him. To him. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. But Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. Mm -hmm. And and I, I'm the only way to God in this dispensation of grace mm -hmm. is through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. So God wants us to do more than come to church. Yeah. We got plenty of people going to church. Amen. God wants us to come back to him. Mm -hmm. That's radical right there. Yeah. Salvation is about a divine reset yes reconnecting with god yes. in every area of our lives mm -hmm. not back to normal but back to god yeah not back to normal ah. but back to god god is doing a divine recall yes, that's <laughs> it, minister terry wisdom always i like that god is doing a divine recall uh -huh. god is calling us back to him mm -hmm. thank you sister christian ship amen Sister Aubrey Favorite Brown, thank mm. you so much. Thank you so much for supporting uh, my wife and I and Victory in Christ Christian Church. Amen. Sister, amen. Aubrey amen. Brown, yeah. Brother Tony Guyton, thank you, man. Mm -hmm. Sister Cheryl Spencer, thank you. And your son, Brandon. Oh, yeah. God is calling us back to him. Yes, sir. Not back to normal after the pandemic. Everybody's talking about we got to get back to normal. Got to get back to normal. Yeah. And God says, stop. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. I yeah. don't want you to get back to normal. Right. I don't yeah. want you to get back to just going to church. Yeah. Going to Sunday school. Yes. Yes. Going to 11 o'clock worship. Going yeah. to a three o'clock program. Coming mm -hmm. back at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Seven o'clock on Sunday nights. Wednesday night Bible mm -hmm. study. Uh, Thursday night Bible study and uh, uh, children's church and, mm -hmm. and and vacation Bible school and 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 programs and programs. God said, I don't want you to come back to that. Mm -hmm. I want you to come, come back, back to, me. to me. Yeah, that's why I allowed the pandemic yeah. mm -hmm. so you could isolate yourself oh for my, a while. Oh my. Amen. Yes, and come back to me. Yes. yes Amen. Yes. When I opened the doors again, yeah. I wanted you to come back to me. Thank I you, want Jesus. you to come back. Like you left, my lord. I do a program for you, and you come over to my church and do a program for me, and I go to your church and do a program for you. It's nothing against fellowship, all of that, uh, it is rightful place. Mm -hmm. But God said, Don't come back the way you left, that's the way you left. Mm -hmm. God said, Come back to me, mm -hmm. come back loving me, yes, yes, come yes. back yielded to me, yeah. submitted to me, and mm -hmm. surrendered to me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. He said, I want you to have a divine reset. And a reset is to, to start again. Mm. A reset is to set in place. Amen. Mm. Just like a ring needs to be reset when you lose your diamonds. Amen. Oh, uh, like a clock <laughs> needs to be reset. Yeah. Like yeah. a computer <laughs> needs to be reset. Amen. Yeah. Uh, like your leg need to be reset when you break your leg. Oh, yes. Oh, like yeah. the alarm needs to be reset. Amen. To reset is to set again, to set in place, to reclaim yeah. is to recover what was lost, to get back what was taken, mm -hmm. to get back what belongs to you. And to rebuild is to build something back after it has been damaged. Absolutely. To restore to a previous condition yes yes and we here's uh -huh. the rhema we were walking in perfect fellowship with god mm -hmm. until adam and eve sinned in the garden oh yes and then we lost fellowship with god mm -hmm. we didn't lose relationship with god he still loves us yes we are still uh, uh, uh created in the image and likeness of god mm -hmm. but that but that image and that likeness has been marred. Mm. It has not been erased. Yes. It's just like if you got a new car and, uh, uh, and, and the windows get broken, but they're still in the car. Mm -hmm. The windows are still a part of the car. They are the image and likeness of the car, mm -hmm. but it's damaged. Yeah. There's a flaw there. Mm -hmm. So we are still in the image and likeness of God, mm -hmm. but we have a flaw there. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the image and likeness has not been erased, but we have a flaw. Mm -hmm. We also took on the DNA mm -hmm. of Adam. Mm -hmm. 
Galatians, uh, Genesis 5, mm. 1, 2, and 3. Uh-huh. See, Genesis 1, 26 through 28 said, we were made in the image of likeness of God. Mm-hmm. We walked in perfect harmony and perfect fellowship with God mm-hmm. in the garden. Yeah. But then after Adam and Eve sinned in, in Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 through 15, Adam and Eve sinned and they lost fellowship with God. Mm-hmm. Amen. And so then Adam and Eve had another son after Cain killed Abel and his name was Seth. Mm-hmm. And here's what the Bible says. This is the book of generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam. In the day when they were created. And Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness. And after his image and called his name Seth. So Seth took on the image and likeness of God mm-hmm. from Adam. Mm-hmm. So he took on Adam's likeness, even though there was still an image and likeness of God in Adam, it had been marred. Mm -hmm. And that DNA passed on to Seth. Mm -hmm. And Seth had a sin nature now. Yes. So Romans 5, verse 12 through verse 19, a lot Mm -hmm. of reading. I'm setting it. I'm setting the stage now. Thank you, Jesus. I'm setting the stage now. Yeah. Reset my mindset. Mm-hmm. Once I get saved, once I bo- get born again, my spirit yeah. man is saved. But my mindset has to be changed in order to bring my mindset in line with the spirit of God that is in me mm-hmm. so that my heart can come in line. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Because as a man thinketh in his heart, so, so is he. Absolutely. So our hearts got to be in line with the spirit, and that happens through the mind. Mm-hmm. Reset my mindset. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Romans 5, 12. 12. Wherefore, well, by one man, sin entered into the world, and death by sin. And so death passed unto all men, for that for that all have sinned. So, so Adam's nature to sin Thanks. passed on to set. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. For until the law sin was in the world, but ne- sin is now imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is a figure of him that was to come, but not as the offense. So also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded in many. And it's going up to, we're going up to 19, verse okay. 19. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. A mindset to return to God. Okay. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Where did I leave off? Well, you, you okay. mm. For as by one man's disobedience. Well, you, well, you stopped at 16, go okay, to 17. Yeah, For as by one man's offense, death reigned by one. If by one man, Adam's sin fell on everybody, uh-huh. much, much more, more, they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. So Jesus right Christ right. came to reset us mm-hmm. so we could reclaim the inheritance that yes. God had for us. And we could rebuild our lives in the image of God. This is deep. Mm-hmm. Amen. So by one man through Adam and Eve, Mm -hmm. because Adam took responsibility, even though Adam and Eve both sinned, the Mm -hmm. man took the responsibility. God put the responsibility on the man. Uh Amen. Though through one man, sin entered the world. And by one man, we can be reset to God. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. that one man is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. For John 14 and 6 said, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. Acts 4 and 12 said, there's no other name there's no other name under heaven which we might be saved except Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. And that justification is to be declared righteous. Yeah. There's neither their salvation in any of them. Yeah, for there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Okay, now let's go to our main scripture tonight. Okay. Second Corinthians. Took a long time to get here. That's all right. Second Corinthians. We put the word on it tonight. Oh, yeah. We got Bible for you tonight. 
2 Corinthians 5, 17 through 21. All right. This is this reset. Yeah. This reset yeah. what Christians yeah. don't understand because uh -huh. preachers don't preach and teach it enough. Amen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Yes. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. If any man mm -hmm. or woman be in Christ, mankind, they are new creatures. Mm -hmm. We have been reset. Reset. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And we've been brought back to favor with God. Oh, we've been yes. really Reconciled. reconciled. There, it oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's it. He is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself. By God, what does that Christ. reconcile mean, baby? To be brought back into favor. To be brought back mm -hmm. into fellowship. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, who has, yeah. Who has re Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. Who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given up to us the ministry of a reconciliation. What is that saying, baby? What uh, is that saying? What is that saying? That that means that we are we what once we we're sin, but we are because of Jesus Christ, we are brought back into fellowship with him. Uh, okay. We, okay, yeah. okay. He has reconciled us to God by Jesus, uh -huh. and then Jesus has given us the, the ministry, ministry of reconcil reconciliation so, so that we can get others. Hey, to come back that's where I'm going. To come huh? into fellowship with yeah. Him. Amen. That God, God was in Christ reconciling the world to, to himself. himself. And he has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So God has saved us. Mm -hmm. And once he saves us, he wants us to go out and witness to somebody else. And I'll let our life, life be an yes. example to somebody yes, else. Yes. So somebody wants to know while we live in the way we live in, they right. want to know the God that's in us, mm -hmm. so they can be reconciled, Style, yes, return yes. to favor, favor return you. to yes. a friendly yes. relationship with God. Right, absolutely. Then absolutely. he says in verse 20. To, to 20, now then we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. Now you are an ambassador for Christ. Mm -hmm. And an ambassador represents the country mm -hmm. from which they are sent. Mm -hmm. So Jesus Christ is our country. We Our, our mm -hmm. home is in glory. Uh -huh. And Jesus Christ is God's representative on the earth. Mm -hmm. And once we are saved, we become fellow ambassadors. And Christ. we are to represent Christ's mm -hmm. kingdom. Mm -hmm. We are to represent heaven mm -hmm. everywhere we go. Absolutely. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. For he hath made him to be sent for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So it's a work of God work through of God. Christ. Yes. For God has made Jesus to be mm -hmm. sin for us who knew no who sin. Knew no sin yeah. That you might be. Not uh -huh. just to Pastor Melvin and Pastor Linda, uh -huh. that you may be made the righteousness of God in him. Put it on the screen now, everybody. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Yes. I am the righteousness of God in, in Christ. Christ Jesus. Yes. Amen. When you go to your ambassador mm -hmm. to get a passport to go to a foreign country, mm -hmm. you know, when you send for a passport, you are representing America when you go to another country mm -hmm. in an unofficial capacity. Yes, sir. And when you go get your passport, mm -hmm. you don't have to be a governor, a mayor, a important person to get a passport. You just got to be a citizen of the country, oh, my. a citizen of the state, yeah. a citizen of that kingdom. Yes. And so we've got our passport to glory yes, because we are citizens of heaven. Yes. You don't have to be a certain color. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a certain age. Mm. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be poor. Mm -hmm. You just got to be a citizen of that country you, to go to the ambassador mm -hmm. and get your passport so you can be an ambassador. Mm. Thank you. Jesus. My God, Thank my you, God, Jesus. My God. For he has made us to be. Mm. Uh, he has made us mm -hmm. to be ambassadors mm -hmm. for Christ. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Absolutely. Absolutely. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome, baby. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, absolutely. So we represent Christ. And when you when you are an ambassador for America, you represent America in the Olympic Games. Absolutely. That's a good example. Mm -hmm. You represent America. Mm -hmm. But we are we are we are representatives of the kingdom of God. Yes. And God has reset us mm -hmm. 
<laughs> into his kingdom yeah. so we can reclaim yeah. everything that he has designated for us to have. Absolutely. So what can we reclaim? We can reclaim love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, goodness, meekness, temperance, and faith. Mm -hmm. That is the fruit of the spirit yeah. found in Galatians 5, 22 uh -huh. and 23. Yeah. I'm an ambassador. Yeah. And I have the fruit of the spirit that God gave to me mm -hmm. the moment I was saved. Mm -hmm. When I believed in my heart and confessed with my mouth that Christ is Lord, mm -hmm. then the spirit came to live in me. And the spirit gave me the fruit of the spirit, which is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no love. And long suffering is patience. patience. Yes, Thank sir. you, Jesus. Yes, sir. It, came to live in you mm -hmm. you got you reclaim that mm -hmm. you reclaim your walk with god your fellowship with god mm -hmm. when you reset your spirit man gets saved uh -huh. but your mind doesn't get saved uh -huh. your spirit man comes alive mm -hmm. thank you jesus mm -hmm. thank you lord yeah then the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against that there's no law. Ephesians 1 and 3. All right. Walk and then down, God says, gives us down. spiritual blessings. Yes. And we can reclaim those blessings yes. once we reset our minds. Yes. We can yes, reclaim sir. what God has given yes. us. Yes. Ephesians 1 and 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Has past tense. Past tense so, so you already got them. Mm -hmm. God has blessed us mm. with all spiritual blessings in heavenly, in heavenly places. Yes, yes, yes. That's why we pray mm -hmm. the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. Our Father, yes. which art in heaven, yeah. hallow, hallow, holy would be, holy thy, would name. be thy name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallow would be thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Because you got my blessings in heaven, and I want to have these blessings down here on earth. I want my healing. I want my prosperity. I want my health. I want my peace. I want my joy. I want my family tight. Mm -hmm. I want my friends tight. <laughs> I want my business to be right. Amen. Yes. They're in heavenly places. Yes, yes. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy kingdom up in heaven, come mm -hmm. on earth as it is in heaven because. Yes. You got my spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Yes. So that's why God wants us, once we're saved, our spirit man comes alive. We are reset. Then God wants us to reclaim all the promises that he gave us, all the blessings. Well, why don't we reclaim those blessings? Mm. I'm saved. I'm born again but I'm living beneath my privilege. Ah. I can't reclaim the blessings because my mind is messed up. Yes, sir. Oh, so we have my to mind is messed up. So we have to renew our mind yeah. to the things of God. You know, when, when Jesus says, come unto me, all you that labor and have labor, mm -hmm. and I will give you rest. Yes. Then he says, take my yoke upon you mm -hmm. and learn of me, <laughs> for I am meek and holy. And, and so we have to not, not just come to Christ, but we have to learn about the Christ that we've come to Ooh. because the mindset is that is the values, the philosophy, mm. uh, the um, uh, the uh, frame of mind and the outlook that a person has. Mm. And it affects the way that they live. Yeah. And so then when we change our mindset, we change our philosophy, mm. we change our values, mm. we change uh, uh, many times our culture, mm. we change uh, our frame of mind and our outlook. And when we change those things, then that, that can manifest in our behavior. Mm. But, but we have to first learn about this Christ that mm -hmm. we have accepted. Yeah. I've accepted Christ, now what? Now I've got to have a mindset change. A mindset change. Amen. Amen. We've got Amen. to put a word on put it. Put a word on it. Salvation is a spiritual mm -hmm. rebirth. Yeah. But the mind does not change. Romans 12, 1 and 2. That is. That's why after salvation, uh -huh. we must do a mindset uh -huh. reset. Yeah. Somebody put that on the screen. we got to do a mindset, mindset reset. reset. Yes, sir. A mindset. Reset, reset yes, starts sir. in us yeah. before we can start in church. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
revival starts in us mm -hmm. before revival can start in church. Yes. It's personal first. Absolutely. Thank I you. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that your mindset, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Prove it is to live it out. But prove it is to manifest it. Yeah. Be transformed by the renewing, renewing of your mind, mind. Yeah. so that you may reclaim mm -hmm. all the good things yes. and the acceptable things mm -hmm. that God has given you mm -hmm. in his perfect will. Yes. A mindset to return to God. Yes, sir. A yes, mindset sir. to not only return to church, but to return to God. A mindset to worship. A mm -hmm. mindset to, to, to praise God and to pray. Uh, a mindset to study God's word. A mindset to love God's people, a mindset to love God's people. Yes. Why would God send you to speak to nations when you won't even speak to the person sitting next to you in church? Why mm. would God send you uh. to speak to nations when you won't speak to your neighbor? My, my, my. We talking about God going to send me to speak to nations uh, and you Lord, won't speak to Lord. your neighbor. My God. You got oh, to Pastor. love God's people. Yeah. For God's going to give you that kind of anointing. Yes. yes, yes. You know, you got to love people. people John God. 13. And 34. Okay. John 13, 34, and 35. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. You've got to love God's yes, people. Sir. John chapter 13. Yes. Verses 34 and 35. A new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, that you love one to another. And Christ had an unconditional love. Mm -hmm. uh, God, Christ had a long-suffering love. That by the, people know you are reset. Mm. <laughs> that you really been reset. Yes, sir. If you love one another. Yes, sir. And and that's not just the people that's on your level. Mm. People in your sorority or your fraternity or in your pay grade or in your neighborhood are uh, uh, driving your kind of car. Yeah. But that's everybody. Yeah. You've got to love one another and mean it. And mean it. Yes. As I have loved, as God loves us. Yes, yes, yes. And, and God loved us just like we were. Amen. Because while we were yet sinners, Christ mm -hmm. died for us. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. so loved the world so much he gave his only begotten son. And then while we were yet sinners, that son died for us. So Christ, lo God loved us in our unclean state. <laughs> he loved us in our messed up state, in our crazy state. Amen. By he this shall us. all men know that you are my disciples. Yeah. If you have love for one another. Stop running off people God has sent to bless you. Mm -hmm. God can send a little old person you think don't have nothing to offer. Yeah. And that person might be the one God has sent to bless you. Uh, yes, Stop, oh, yes, we oh, run yes. more people off from the church oh, my. with our attitudes oh, my. and our mindset. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Like I said before, God is not going to send you to talk to nations mm. when you won't even talk to your neighbor. Oh, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, Jesus. <laughs> God's not mm. going to give it to you mm -hmm. until you're ready for it. Oh, my. Yes. God's not going to give it to you mm -hmm. until you're ready for it. Yes, you're yes, ready yes. to do his will. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. According to his way, his purpose, and his plan. Yeah, yeah. God wants you to be reconciled, reconciled to God. To him. Yes. You're reset. You're reconnected. Yes, yes, yes. Change in your spirit. My, my. Change in your mind. Yes, yes. Which creates. A change in your behavior. Yes, sir. And then a change in your destiny. Mm -hmm. And you can rebuild yeah. your life yeah. to look like Christ. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> that's good stuff right there. Thank Pastor. you, Jesus. The changing of the mindset. Yeah. That's that's a serious part of the process. Yeah. Amen. It's not just giving our hearts, our lives to Christ. That's the first part. Yes, sir. But then we got to learn what, what does this salvation walk look like? Mm -hmm. What is it that I should now? What should I do? What well, now what should I do? Yeah. 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 They that in Christ are new creatures. Yeah. Old things are passed away. Yeah. All things are brand new. Mm -hmm. We are to be restored, reset. Mm -hmm. Then we are to reset mm -hmm. others, help others get reset, mm -hmm. reconnected yes. Yes. 
yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Look at Colossians 3 and 10. Mm -hmm. Brother Terrence Van, Minister Terrence Van, <laughs> God bless you. Mm -hmm. Sister, Minister Claudia Young, God bless you. Sister Louise McMillan, All right. choir director extraordinaire, West, West Camp Baptist, Baptist, Baptist Church. Church. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And have put on a new man, have put on the new, the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. We put mm. on Christ. Yeah. We are new creatures. Yeah. And we have put on the new man. Yes. And we are renewed in knowledge mm. after the image of him that created him. That's our mindset. Renewed Ephesians in our mindset. Ephesians 4. Thank you, Jesus. Let's put Bible on it. Let's put some Bible on it. Let's put some Bible on it. Put a word on it. Ephesians 4 22 yes, through 25. Yes, we can read put the Bible on it. Ephesians 4 22 through 25. That Amen. you put off concerning the former conversation. Your old conversation is lifestyle. lifestyle. Huh? Let's put off concerning the former, <laughs> the former conversation, the former lifestyle, the yeah. old man. Yeah. Which yeah. Is corrupt <laughs> according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put on the new man which after god is created in righteousness and true holiness wherefore putting away lying hmm. speak every man truth with his neighbor for we are members one of another yeah amen thank you jesus put off the old the former conversation the old lifestyle amen My god. you have to get a mindset of winning in god mm. Philippians 4 13, I can do all things through Christ. Through Christ. Who gives me strength. Yeah, Philippians 4 19. Mm -hmm. My God mm -hmm. shall supply all of my needs. All of my needs. According to his riches and glory. But God wants my us Christ to reset, Jesus. reconnect to him, mm -hmm. reclaim what he has delegated for us to have, mm -hmm. and rebuild our lives in him. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. He wants us to reset. Mm. Have that relationship with him. Yeah. If we don't, we're gonna have an OJ spirit. Oh, come on, Pastor. Say we're gonna have the more. mighty OJs out of Cleveland, Ohio. We're gonna have their spirit. What is that? When they that? said in the song, your body is here with me, but your mind mine is on the other side of town. So oh, you're my. gonna be sitting up in church. Yeah. You're gonna be singing in the praise team, mm -hmm. singing in the choir. You're gonna yeah. be preaching. Yeah. You're gonna be shouting. Yes. Your body's gonna be there. Yeah. Thank but you. Your but your mind is it's not on, there. On the other side of town. Your mind is at the no tail motel. Mm. In a place <laughs> that's totally contrary. Yeah. To 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 the God that you choose that you claim yeah. to serve. Thank you, oh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my. Oh, my. Thank it's, you, Lord. It's a process. Amen. It's a process. They that are in Christ are new creatures. <laughs> uh -huh. What's, go ahead, Pastor. Old things are passed away, and all things are brand new. Since you were talking about songs, I thought about a song. Oh, what's the name of the song? Baby, Can I Change My Mind. Who Baby, Can I Change Tyrone Davis. God Chicago's have... West Side Wonder Boy. Since you use music. <laughs> and, and, but, but God wants us to change, to have a change of mind. Yeah. Absolutely. Baby, Can I Change yeah. My Mind. Yeah. October 1968. Mm -hmm. Number one record in the nation. Sold uh, two million copies in three weeks. Okay. That's a big record. That yeah. Was a big record. Okay. All Maybe right. can I change my mind? Right. Back to the gospel. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. They that are in Christ are new creatures. Mm -hmm. And then you know it's not where you're from, mm. but where God is leading you. Oh, my. Oh, my. It's not where you're from, but it's where God is leading you. Mm -hmm. Not the credentials you have. Yes. Not the family background. Yes. Because you are a new creature. You have mm -hmm. a new family. Yeah. You've got a new DNA in Christ. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. That's why parents must teach the children. They just they must give the children this new mindset. Oh my. Oh my. Because we inherit more than a DNA from our parents. Yes. Amen. We inherit traits. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. We inherit traits mm -hmm. and trends. Uh, and tendencies my mind. and proclivities, mm -hmm. we inherit mindsets mm -hmm. and mentalities mm -hmm. and belief systems. We inherit ideas and yeah. attitudes from our parents. Yeah. You know why most folks are Baptists? Because their families were Baptists. Why mm -hmm. most folks are coaching? Because their families were coaching. Mm -hmm. Why most folks are Methodists? That mm -hmm. their, their families were Methodists. Mm -hmm. You know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the we 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 inherit that. 
from our family. Mm -hmm. it, it's, a, it's like culture. Yeah. The culture is the customs and, and social construct of a people. Mm -hmm. the, the beliefs, the ideas, and attitudes, yeah. the arts, the songs, yes. uh, the food, mm -hmm. all of that is culture. Yeah. And we inherit that from our families. Mm -hmm. So we inherit more than DNA. Yes. We inherit culture. Mm -hmm. Some things are passed down from generation to generation. And just like racism is passed down, mm -hmm. victimhood is passed oh, down. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, Negative yes. mentalities are passed down. Oh, yes. Toxic relationships are passed down. Mm -hmm. We teach it better than you all are saying on the screen now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All of this is passed down. Mm -hmm. uh, dysfunctional relationships dysfunctional, yeah. passed down. Yeah. Abusive situation in mm -hmm. families yeah. passed down. Habits, Habits, Habits. passed yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Incest. Yeah, passed down. Passed down. Yeah, yeah. We inherit more than DNA from our parents. Mm -hmm. We inherit mindsets. Absolutely. We inherit mentalities. Mm -hmm. we, in, we, we, we inherit belief systems. Yeah. And we inherit the victim and victimhood mentality. Absolutely. And you are not a victim. Yes. You yeah. are a winner. We're victorious. You are a chosen generation, yes, a royal priesthood, a holy, a holy nation, nation a, a special treasure in God. Absolutely. And you can be anything mm. that you and God mm. uh, set out to be. Oh, yes. Thank yes. you, can. Yes, yes, yes. you can. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter where you're from, mm -hmm. what family you're from, God will lift you up. Mm -hmm. And generational curses, thank you, Sister Brittany Cohen, will be broken. Yes, sir mindsets yes. negative mindsets mm -hmm. and negative spirits will be broken yes sir. every curse will be broke in jesus, in jesus name. name thank you jesus thank you jesus yes sir every yes, sir. curse will be broken thank you jesus the traits and trends mm. and, and tendencies and proclivities mm. are passed down My Lord. mindsets and mentalities and belief systems and mm. ideas and attitudes mm -hmm. are passed down yeah but you are more than a conqueror yes sir I was born in Mississippi, mm -hmm. a little small town, amen, about seven, 8,000 people, small mm -hmm. town. Mm -hmm. But I knew, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't even, uh, I was saved mm -hmm. when I went to church. I got okay. saved when I got grown, okay. got saved for real, for real, went to church. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a, chick, a child, but I knew this much. Mm -hmm. I could be somebody. Yeah. I was not a victim, mm -hmm. even though we went to segregated schools and and uh, and we rode the back of the bus mm -hmm. and, and drank at segregated water fountains. I knew I was not segregated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I could be somebody. Yeah, yeah, yes. You are more than a conqueror. Yes, you are yes, champion. Yes, you're the you're the head and not the tail. My God. You belong in front, not behind. not behind. On top and not the bottom. On, you can have life and life more abundantly. Yes. Doesn't matter where you're from. Mm -hmm. It's it's who you align yourself with. That's it. And the first one is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> and then when you get Jesus, God wants you to move different. Yes. Than the world. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, absolutely. And when you align with God, mm -hmm. your life will never mm -hmm. be the same again. Absolutely. You absolutely. can be restored. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And you can walk in reconciliation. Mm -hmm. And we need to preach a gospel of reconciliation, reconciliation. and not condemnation. Mm -hmm. Most people preaching a gospel of condemnation. You going to hell, you sin it. Yeah, you going to hell if you don't accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. But we preach a gospel of reconciliation, mm -hmm. John 3, 16 and 17. Put it on the screen. Mm -hmm. This is what Jesus said. Well, God has called us to preach a gospel I'm of reconciliation. reconciliation. Yes. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Yes. Things may be hard for you right now. Yes. You may feel overwhelmed. You may feel uh, 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 overloaded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you may be pressured mm -hmm. from every direction. Mm -hmm. But hold on. Mm -hmm. God can turn <laughs> your negatives into a positive yes he will for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life <laughs> for god sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved now read that again baby for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life <laughs> but god sent not his son into the world to condemn the, the world, world but that the world through him 
might be saved. God didn't come. Jesus didn't come to condemn you. He came yeah, to, save to save you. you. The Absolutely. gospel is more than condemnation mm. and more than shame mm -hmm. and more than making you feel bad. Yeah. God said uh, through Christ uh, in John 10, 10, mm -hmm. the devil comes to steal, kill, and, and destroy. destroy. Yeah. If they're stealing, if they're killing, mm -hmm. if they're trying to destroy you, it's mm. the devil. Yes, sir. You ain't got to have no meeting with the pastor to find uh, out. You know, if they're stealing, yeah. it's devilish. Yeah. If they're it, lying, it's devilish. Yes, sir. If they're trying to kill you, trying to kill your dreams, mm -hmm. trying to kill your home, mm -hmm. kill your relationships, mm -hmm. kill your worship, yeah. it's devilish. Mm -hmm. They try to destroy you, it's devilish. Absolutely. If they, if it's not in love, it's devilish. Absolutely. He's, and church folks can carry out the work of the devil. Absolutely. Amen. Uh, God works in us, and the enemy can work through people as well. Amen. And we have to recognize that when the negative, when the negatives come against us, our enemy is not that person. It's that devil that, that, that's using that person. Mm -hmm. Amen. The enemy will use whomever he can. Mm -hmm. whomever, whomever he can, he'll use them. And we have to recognize that the only enemy we have is, is Satan. Amen. He's, he's, the, he's our enemy. Amen. Don Carter, welcome aboard, man. God bless you. Mm -hmm. The gospel is more than John 3.16. The gospel is more than salvation. Yes. It is salvation, but it's more than salvation. Mm -hmm. The gospel is more than mm -hmm. just going to church and going to heaven. Mm -hmm. It is that, but it's more than that. Mm -hmm. The gospel is life and life more abundantly. Mm -hmm. And God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above you could ever ask or think. Yes. And God is able to work all things for your good. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus saved us. He rescued us. Mm -hmm. He redeemed us. Ah. And he restored us. My, my. He reset our spirit. Yes, sir. We reclaimed our inheritance. Mm -hmm. And we can rebuild our lives. Come on, say it again, Pastor. Reset. Mm -hmm. We reset our spirit. Yes, sir. Our spirit got reconnected with God's spirit mm -hmm. like we were in the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. Then we can reclaim our inheritance. Yes, sir. He has given us precious promises, mm -hmm. and we can receive them now yeah. that we are in Christ. Yeah. And then we can rebuild our lives. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh, yes, sir. We can grow and develop and mature and be equipped and perfected in the things of God. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. We can let our light so shine among men that they may see yeah, our good, good works and give the glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Don't let Satan mm -hmm. <laughs> run an eclipse on you. <laughs> Minister Terrence Van, thank That's you. Don't good. let Satan eclipse you oh, from yeah. the Son of God. Yes, Amen. Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that eclipse is when one, one celestial body uh, comes in front of another celestial body uh -huh. to keep the observer mm -hmm. from seeing the first object. Okay. And that's when the moon comes in front of the sun mm -hmm. and the observer, that's us on earth, can't see the sun. See the sun. Well, when the devil comes in front of the son of God, uh, <laughs> come on now. it darkens our mind come on and now. we can't see the things of God because the devil has got us blinded. My Lord. Second Corinthians 4. Mm -hmm. Three and four. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians four. Yes, three and four. My, my. Let's put some Bible on it. Come on, come Thank on, you, we Sister Allen Day. Lyles, yeah. reset, yeah. reset, reset. Yes, yes, reset, reset. Yes. Reset, reset. Yes. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, and whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Now that's 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 that's, that's, that's a that's ver an eclipse. That's a verse right there. Uh -huh. That those two verses right there. That's mm -hmm. an eclipse. That's an eclipse. But if our gospel be hid, yeah, is hid to them that are lost. Why? Mm -hmm. And who the, the God of the this God world. of this world, the devil, mm. oh slew foot, oh my, the Elzebub, come on, all right, <laughs> has blinded mm -hmm. the minds of them which believe not. Yeah. At least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, which is the image of God, should shine unto them. <laughs> Thank you, reset, reset, reset. 
reset our spirit when yes, we sir. accept Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Then we reclaim our inheritance. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Isaiah 54 and 17. Isaiah 54, 17. Isaiah right. 54, that inheritance. Uh, reclaim that inheritance. No weapon formed against you would prosper. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. And every word that's kind of that's raised in condemnation 54, 17. Shall no be weapon. Condemned. That is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. Because this is the heritage, heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the That's Lord. That's the inheritance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank mm. you, Jesus. That's a good lesson tonight, Pastor. Mm. Oh, Don't yeah. go back. Mm -hmm. Need a mindset reset. Mm -hmm. Look at the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. They were in covenant relationship with God now. They didn't have the spirit in them mm -hmm. like we do in the New Testament. Yeah. But they were in covenant relationship with God through mm -hmm. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. Numbers chapter 14, verses 1 through 3. Mm -hmm. God had delivered them out of 430 years of mm -hmm. Egyptian bondage. Mm -hmm. had, uh, had performed plagues in Egypt. Yeah. Had led them out. And they, they didn't leave broke. Mm -hmm. They left with the jewelry of Egypt yeah, and yeah. the stuff that Egypt had. Yes. Took them through the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. And they were wandering in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And then because their minds, their bodies were out of Egypt. But their, minds. their minds were still in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Their bodies were free, mm -hmm. but their minds were still in bondage. My God, my God. And many of us, we are born again. The spirit of God lives in us, but our mindset has not been reset. Absolutely. And we are still in bondage. That's what you call a carnal Christian. Mm -hmm. You say you're going to heaven anyhow, mm -hmm. but you're not living according to your privilege here on earth. Yes. We go there after we do this. Okay. All right. Then we'll close it out. Okay. And all the congregation lifted up their voice and cried, and the people wept that night. And all the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron, and the whole congregation said unto them, Would God that we had died in the land of Egypt, or would God we had died in the wilderness? We wish we, we had just stayed in Egypt and died. And wherefore hath the Lord brought us into this land to fall by the sword, mm -hmm. that our wives and our children should be a prey? Were it not better for us to return unto Egypt? Amen. They, amen. they hadn't had a mindset change yet. Yeah. Their bodies were free, but their minds were still bound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank good. you, Jesus. Their bodies were free. Oh, yeah. But their minds were not. Oh, yeah. They yes. were carnal. They were carnal. But that first Corinthians, I think, is chapter three, mm -hmm. verses one and two, three, four. I think it's first Corinthians. Okay. Uh, uh Colonel Christian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's first Corinthians. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You are yet carnal. That's what it says. Yeah, you are. And our brethren could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal. Is it there? Mm -hmm. All yeah, right. Thank babes. you, Lord. Thank you, mm -hmm. Lord. Thanks, Marcus. But, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ, I have fed you with milk and not with meat. For hitherto you were not able to bear it. Neither yet now are you able, for you are yet carnal. For whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are you not carnal and walk as men? But while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are you not carnal? Let me exegete this. Come on, Pastor, break it down. The whole New Testament, mm -hmm. after you leave Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, mm -hmm. and the book of Acts, everything else is written to save people, Christian people, born-again people. Mm -hmm. Matthew, Luke, and John tells us how to be saved. The book of Acts talks about how the gospel was spread out throughout the known world. But the epistles not only tells us how to be saved, it tells us how to behave, mm. the epistles. So he's writing to Christian people, born again believers, and he said, I, brethren, men and women in the Corinthian church, mm -hmm. I could not speak to you as unto spiritual. You save now, but you're not spiritual. Mm -hmm. You are carnal. You are a babe in Christ. Yeah. He said, I have fed you with milk, uh, not with meat. Uh, so we, we feed you with meat tonight. Mm -hmm. You know what milk is? Uh, when you go to church, you get about four or five songs 
and a sweet little old sermon, mm -hmm. a 20 minute sermon that don't mm -hmm. never mention Jesus, mm -hmm. don't never mention living right, yeah, don't, don't never sound. mention treating yeah. your wife right, yeah. don't never mention being there for your children, mm -hmm. don't never mention loving one another. Mm -hmm. That's milk. That's milk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And not he said, but I fed you with milk. Mm -hmm. Cause you were not able to bear me. Yeah. Cause those people, calm people, they don't want to hear no hard word, no mm -hmm. sound word. Sometimes mm -hmm. you got to get used to it. Mm -hmm. You got to get comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. So he said, I can tell you, Colonel, you saved, mm -hmm. you in church, mm -hmm. but you envying. Yes. And there's strife. Yeah. There's division. Yeah. Y'all, y'all fussing. Mm -hmm. And everybody's offended. Yeah. Everybody mad. Yeah. Mad at the pastor. The pastor mad at the congregation. Yeah. The first lady mad at the women. My the my. women mad at the first lady. My God. Old That's folks mad at everybody. And children mad at everybody. Uh -huh. Ch children don't like much, and old folks don't like much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just, I'm just messing with you now. Children don't like much unless you're giving them what they want. Absolutely. They only want what they want. And all, us older folks, we know everything. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So I'm older, so I can say that. Mm -hmm. He said, are you not colonel mm -hmm. and walk as men? Mm -hmm. Amen. So we have to renew our minds. Yes. Though we will be saved, mm. going to heaven anyhow and living like a rank sinner. My God. That's why people in the world are so confused. And they say, because they think uh, erroneously, mm -hmm. they think everybody in church ought to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And there's no one perfect. God yeah. is the only person perfect. Jesus is the only perfect person. Yeah. But people just want to, you know, some people don't, you know, don't want to have anything to good to say about the church anyway. Mm -hmm. So all of the things that we do that's that's not perfect, mm -hmm. they go complain about. It. Mm -hmm. And we give them the ammunition. We do. Because we fussing and fighting with mm -hmm. one another mm -hmm. over any little thing. Yeah. Over any little thing. Yeah. Amen. But God wants us to reset our minds yes, to yes. the things of God. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Reset our minds on him. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that's the key to reaping your harvest. Mm -hmm. Not just returning to church, but return to God. And God will reset you. God will allow you to reclaim everything mm -hmm. you've lost. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jesus. And that's hard to get with sometimes. Mm. I'm going to be real with you and honest with you. We've seen so many fakes and phonies and frauds in the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some of us have closed our hearts mm. to the things of God. Yeah. Now, y'all know I'm right about it. Mm -hmm. We've seen so many fakes and phonies and frauds. Yeah. So many preachers dipping and dabbing. Mm -hmm. So many deacons and trustees and leadership. And mm -hmm. just average folks in the church, just plain crazy. Yeah. You can't say nothing to them. Mm -hmm. And some people just unclose their hearts and to Amen. the things of God. Absolutely. I'm not going back to church no more. Yeah. I'm not fooling with them people no more. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. Absolutely. Thank you, Jesus. Absolutely. But don't close your heart to God. Mm -hmm. The same door that the devil comes in, mm. God can come in. Mm-hmm. So you look into Jesus, mm -hmm. who's the author and finisher of your faith. And when people are faking and flogging, being phony, mm -hmm. you keep your eyes on God. Absolutely. And God will bless you. I'm going to be real as real can get. Mm -hmm. I, I bring it to you real. Mm -hmm. I bring it to you real. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I ain't begging. <laughs> I'm going to just be real about that. Mm -hmm. I ain't begging you. I'm, uh, but I love you. Mm -hmm. And so I can bring it to you real. Yes. I ain't trying to be somebody I'm not. So I can bring it to you real mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. But yield, submit, and surrender to God and keep your eyes on God. Mm -hmm. And if you're in, if you're in Christ, you're not going to satisfy everybody. Right. No matter how good you are, mm -hmm. how holy you are, you're not going to satisfy everybody. And no matter how bad you are, mm -hmm. you go, some people still still love you. Uh, yeah. No matter how nasty your attitude, some people go still love mm -hmm. you. So it, 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 you just got to do what God has told you to do. Right. Love his people regardless mm -hmm. and, 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 and keep 
looking unto Jesus. Right. And, and, and Pastor, finish your and Pastor actually, the, 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 objective, the objective is not to, to please everybody. Yeah. The objective that we should have is to be pleasing to God. Amen. Amen. We, we have to be, we have to do what God would have us to do, not what people would have us to do. <laughs> we have to stay focused on God. Amen. 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 And and the word tells us when a man's ways please God, he'll make even his enemies be at peace. With Amen. Him. We have to do what God would have us to do. Amen. Miss Jeannie, God bless you. Mr. Sam, God bless you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Cheryl Spencer. Amen. God Praise bless God. you. Yes, yes. Do what thus says the Lord. Yes. There's a scripture in Micah 6 and 8. Mm. This is what God would have us what do. Would, what, what would, what Micah would have us 6 to do? and 8. Lord, what God wants us to, to do justly. To love mercy. To love mercy. And to walk, and to walk humbly, humbly with him. With him. Amen. Micah 6 and 8, yes. He has showed thee, O man, what is good and what doth the Lord require thee, yeah. but to do justly. To love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. And that do justly is to to to, to live righteously. To do the right, yeah. To yeah. do the right do thing. Right Come thing. here, Spike Lee. Do yeah, the right do thing. Do the right thing. And to love mercy. Yes, yes, yes. And to walk humbly with mm. thy God. Mm. Love God and love His people. Yes, yes. And everything else will fall into place. Yes. And God will hold you up, even when you make mistakes. Mm -hmm. When you love him mm -hmm. and you 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 got the right motives. Mm -hmm. I don't care who don't like you, who try to stop you. I've made a whole lot of mistakes mm -hmm. as pastor, mm -hmm. but my motives are pure. Yes. And God has held me up in spite of it. In Amen. spite of the mistakes yeah. I've made. Yeah. You Absolutely. understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. God will hold you up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, God. It's a good lesson, Pastor Linda. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Good evening, Yolanda Davis. Sister Yolanda Davis, mm -hmm. God bless you. Yes, yes. Minister Terrence Van, mm -hmm. the Joyce and Tabitha and Rachel Van, oh, whole yeah. family. Oh, yeah. Cheryl Spencer, Brother Brand, Brand, Brandon, God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless everybody on tonight. Amen. In Jesus' Praise name. Praise God. Got any prayer requests, honey? Get those prayer requests. Oh, yeah. Hey, Amen. Thank you. We had a great time. Great time uh, in church uh, on Sunday. Last two Sundays. Oh, been, yeah. Just the spirit's been high. Oh, my. And then uh, we had a first Sunday fellowship. Mm -hmm. On the first Sunday in yeah. April, uh, the leadership treated the church with a free brunch. Free meal, free lunch. What do you call that? Free lunch, dinner, brunch on Sunday. It was lunch. It's lunch. It's, it was lunch. And uh, Trustee Titus Driver and his wife, Sister Lisa Driver, they served the whole meal. They served the whole church. Yeah. The trustee and his wife, mm -hmm. the head of our ushers, mm -hmm. they served the whole meal. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and it was delicious. It was delicious. It was a great day. Fish and chicken and uh -huh. slaw and French fries and tea, and lemonade. Was, and there was a little dessert. I, dessert. I, I, oh I man, dessert. food, I, yeah. food for days. It was enough, and, and yeah. it, it was enough to take home with us. So yeah, hey, that dang. was a blessing. So a lot of us didn't have to cook on Sunday, and that was certainly a blessing. Saturday Sunday school this Saturday, nine forty-five a.m. to eleven a.m. Tony Guyton, Katura Jones, mm. Sharon. Well, mm -hmm. amen. Yeah. Sunday school, Sunday mornings, eight o'clock. Sister Bobby Thompson. Amen. Sister Doris Stewart. Sister Janice Elaine Lockett Morganfield. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, yeah. Men's Sunday school with Tony Guyton. Amen. Mm -hmm. Upstairs. Amen. And Katora Jones has doing the youth yeah. Sunday school. Katora Jones. Yes, yes, yes. And Sharon Webb does children's Sunday school again on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Sister Bobby Thompson's put up uh, uh, Sister Linda Monix in a, she's down in Slidell and I saw where there's a tornado watch down that way, but she is uh, in, she's in the hospital. Oh yeah. So we want to keep her lifted in prayer. I call her. Yeah, I'll call her when, uh, when we when we get off. Uh, Minister Michelle Jones and Brother BJ and Tamika Thompson. Uh, she's facing another career decision. Amen. God Amen. is blessing her, Doctor yeah. Tamika Thompson. God bless decision. you. Yes. Yeah. Thank it's, you, Jesus. It's great to have options. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> it is great to have options. We'll certainly keep her in prayer. And Cecilia Woods, I sent in a prayer request. Her mother 
loves to sit on the front porch, loves to be on the front porch, but she fell off the porch today and broke her left upper arm. Oh, have mercy. Uh, the, her bone, her shoulder in the shoulder. And her right thumb is broken. And her thumb is in a cast and her shoulder's in a sling. And she's in a lot of pain. So we're going to pray for Cecilia Woods' mother. Amen. She's a, an elderly lady, but she's a tough lady. We want to just pray that God will, God will mend. Amen. Amen. And give her comfort. Brother Quincy Aikens, mm -hmm. God bless you, my brother. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, let's see, uh, praying for Don Marble. He yeah. has to have hip surgery. Oh, On April 26th, Donnie, God yeah, bless Donnie's you. Gotta have, yeah, we'll pray for him as well. Donnie Marble. And certainly pray for Rico as well, who put in the prayer request. Yeah, and pray for Rico yeah. and Marble. Uh -huh. And uh, his wife, Sister Angela. Mm -hmm. And praying for his cousin. Uh, Pastor uh, Norm. George uh, Wilbur. George Wilbur. Mm -hmm. George Wilbur. God bless him. Yeah, he's going to. Uh, Pastor George Wilbur. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, God bless him. Yeah. Pastor the Rock of Ages Baptist Church yes. on Kirk Street. For years. For years, years and years. Until he got sick, actually. Yeah. Uh -huh. He couldn't go, go back after the pandemic because he right. wasn't well. Yeah. On Kirk Street. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All righty. Are you ready to pray? Is that all the announcements? Uh, yes. We, we thank we're praying, everybody. We're praying also for um, Sheila Rogers, uh, Mabel Rogers, that's the city's mother, she Sheila Rogers, and her brother Bruce Rogers. Praying for him as well. Okay. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Okay. God bless Sister Rogers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Sister uh, Arby wants us to pray for Greenwood, Mississippi. Mississippi. Oh, yeah. Pray, pray for, for Brother Greenwood. James Williams as well. Mm -hmm. Pray for Greenwood, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we can add Memphis, Tennessee in there, too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Is that it? Um, and all of those that in need of a special all of those, touch. All of those. Uh, Mr. Maurice. Maurice Can't leave Stephanie. Mr. Maurice out. Yeah, God Maurice bless you, Stephanie Mr. Maurice. Yeah, both of them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Sister Linda Austin. Mm -hmm. Miss Jean wants us to pray for the Fally family. Did you get that one? Nope. For uh -uh. The family of Fally. Amen. The entire family. The entire family. Okay. Ah. Uh. And Rob Ann Hamilton, she's having problems again. Mm. With her breathing. And uh, Thomas Macklin, whose dad. His dad uh, passed, passed and be funeralized uh, this uh, Friday, this Saturday. This Saturday. At 12 noon. Mm -hmm. And we'll be there mm -hmm. this Saturday at 12 noon. I will be there this mm -hmm. Saturday at 12 noon mm -hmm. uh, for his father being funeralized. Amen. Uh, it's out in Bartlett. Uh, and. Uh, We'll find the name of the church here before you pray, baby. Okay. It's out in Bartlett. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's at the <clears throat> Growth Central. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> Growth Central Church. Growth Central at church. 4549 Brunswick Road. Yeah. Bartlett, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. That's Pastor Barnes Church, I believe. I think that's his name. Mm. Growth Central, 4549 Brunswick Road. Okay. I think that's Pastor Barnes out there. Okay. That's this Saturday, uh, viewing from 10 to 11, the funeral at 11 a.m. Amen. Mr. Macklin. Amen. Mm -hmm. it's Thomas Macklin's Thomas father. Macklin. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And he's the only son. Mm. Amen. My God. Only child. Dad was, was 90? 89 and 90. 90. All right. Yeah. Praise and God. still driving. Amen. Amen. We're Let's pray for Mary Ship as well. Yes. Oh, Mary. Yes. She has Mary a Ship. Problem with her shoulder. Serious pain. We're praying for you, Sister Mary. Amen. God is a healer. God is a healer. Yes, somebody he else just keep. I just can't get there with that day. Mm. But it's somebody else. Go ahead and pray, baby. Uh, Bob <coughs> Thompson will keep her lifted yes. as well. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right, Pastor. We called all the names. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Holy God, we come before you right now. Thank you, God, Jesus. we thank you for your grace, for your mercy. We thank you for your outstretched hand. We thank you, God, that we can be reconciled to you. And we thank you, God, that you are able with, through your word to give us a mindset. And God, we just want to say thank you. We thank you, God, that our lives don't have to remain the same, that we can be new creatures in Christ. We thank you, Father God. And God, we ask you right now, God, that you look in on all of these. God, we pray that you will touch 
those that are sick, those that are hurting. God, look in on the Fally family. God, look in, God, on Sister Bobby Thompson and all the names, God, that are called. We ask you, Father God, that you touch right now in the name of Jesus, Maurice and Stephanie. Father God, look in on them in the name of Jesus. Mabel Rogers, look in on her, Father God. James Williams, I pray, God, right now for Donnie Marble, Rico Marble, Thank for you, Pastor dear. George Wilburn. Yes, Father, yes. we pray right now that you will touch and that you will move. Look in on Sheila Rogers, you, Father God, Bruce Rogers. God, we Thank ask you, you right Jesus. now that you look in Let's on all of these, God, that are sick. Your word you. says that you are God you, and you are our healer. healer. You are Rapha, God, your healer. And God, we ask you right now that you allow your healing virtue to flow, O oh God, all of these that are sick, that are going through, that are hurting, oh God, that are wounded, that are weary. God, we ask you tonight that you just touch and move as only you can. Look in on Rob Ann Hamilton, Father God, and give her strength and raise her up again, God, in Jesus' name. God, we're praying for Greenwood, Mississippi, and praying for Memphis, Tennessee, and praying for all of those areas, oh God, where it looks like the enemy has been let loose like never before and going rampant. But God, we bind the power of the adversary, and we ask you, God, hallelujah, that you'll send forth your power and your word, oh God, and pray, God, that you'll arrest that evil spirit and allow your people, God, to live in peace. God, we ask you, oh God, that you do it in the name of Jesus. We just bless you and praise you, and God, we ask you that throughout this season, oh God, throughout this time of these uh, uh, sermon series, we ask you, God, that you touch us. I pray, God, help us to discover that we are we we have had a rehoboth, that you have made room for us, and God, help us, God, to recognize, Hallelujah, that we can have a a, a, a so we can change our minds and we can walk out, oh God, the, the salvation walk, God, in the name of Jesus. We can be who you call us to be and have what you said we could have and do what you said we can do. Now we just want to say thank you. Father God, we ask you that you look in on those that are mourning. Your word says, blessed are they that mourn, that you're a man of sorrow, you're acquainted with grief. And God, we ask you right now that you touch and move. And I pray, God, that you'll uh, give us the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness and the oil of joy, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, we bless you, we praise you, we magnify you. Look at on all of these that are on the live. God, meet every need that we have in our lives. We thank you, God. We pray that nothing goes missing and lacking in the lives of your people. We thank you, we bless you, we praise you. And God, even more than all of this, we ask you, God, that you give us peace. Comfort us, God, and give us peace in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. We say amen, amen and amen again. Amen. Before we go, anybody uh, watching uh, and our membership, we have uh, 25 tickets, oh, yeah. uh, $50 tickets. That they're absolutely free that we have for it's, it's an event at the Renaissance Center, Renaissance Sunday, Renaissance Center, downtown Memphis, mm -hmm. this Sunday at 3 o'clock. Uh, it's a portrait display of... Uh, uh, 24 uh, leading preachers in Memphis. Mm -hmm. And these are $10,000 portraits. Each portrait uh, was was handcrafted, painted mm -hmm. by uh, Larry Walker. Mm -hmm. uh, he is uh, all of the paintings you see in City Hall of all the last three or four mayors. He's the young man that was commissioned to do those paintings. He's a what do you call a portrait artist, I guess? Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's uh, done uh, uh, Fred Smith and and just uh, people way above my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> but well, he well, he did one of me last year, mm -hmm. a $10,000 portrait. Uh -huh. and gave it to us absolutely free. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in that favor. Oh, yeah, that's right. And oh, yeah. uh, that was the 12 uh, pastors he honored last year was his first year. He's honoring 12 pastors this year, mm -hmm. but all those portraits will on, be on display, 24. Mm -hmm. and this year, they are honoring uh, uh, Pastor Gina Stewart, uh, Pastor Ricky Floyd, Pastor Norman, mm -hmm. Pastor Stacy Spencer. Uh, it's going to be 12 this year. Pastor Davis, the, the interim Chris, president. Christopher Davis. Christopher Davis, the mm -hmm. interim president. Uh, Pastor St. Paul, the interim president at uh, Lamorne Owen College, mm -hmm. and others. Mm -hmm. That's going to be this Sunday, 3 o'clock. If you want to go, we've got 25 tickets, $50 tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, that's absolutely free. Mm -hmm. We'll have them at church on Sunday. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. You want to go. Mm -hmm. we got 25, $25 tickets. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. 
They I mean, fifty dollar ticket, $50. twenty five, fifty dollar, fifty dollar ticket. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, it'll be there at the, at the beautiful Renaissance Center. Amen. To me. Renaissance Center. Yes. Yes. it might be worth. The That's trip. we haven't been in yet. This yeah, be our been. first time. Absolutely. Yeah. So we'll be excited. We're excited about Deacon it. Deacon well. Rico Marble, God bless you. Amen. Didn't see you all earlier. God bless oh, yeah. you. That's a blessing to our church, uh, Deacon Rico. You and your wife, Angela. Amen. Amen. And his brother. His brother. And your brother. Yeah. Sister Amen. Barbara Lewis, God bless you. Yes. Our portrait artist. That's what they call her. Okay. Sister Barbara Lewis, portrait, portrait artist. Portrait artist. Amen. Yeah, these are nice portraits, man. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thank Amen. you, cousin. Thank you. Uh-huh. Oh, let's pray, pray. Also, I'll keep them lifted. Just call her name. Angela Doggett. Um, my yeah. cousin, Angela Doggett. And also my cousin, Jackie Clay. Thank Praying you, that Jesus. God will heal and Thank deliver. You, Jesus. Yeah. That God will heal and in deliver Jesus name. in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. All righty. Amen. That's going to end our lesson on tonight. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. I'm loving this series. Reset, yes. reclaim, yes. and rebuild mm. in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, yes. Any final words, honey? I just pray also that uh, Bobby Ford, regarding Sister Dr. Dr. Uh, Thompson, praying that God will give her clarity. Uh, and 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 give her insight and uh, and reveal to her the best choice for her in this season. That God will guide her and she will make the best choice in for this season in her life. Yeah. In Jesus' name, Amen. And our prayers are with Thomas Macklin and his wife Jennifer mm -hmm. and that entire family. Absolutely. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. And don't forget our daughter Tammy. You know. Oh, yes. you know, we, uh, we Pray yeah. for her all day, every oh day. Oh my. Amen. Serious, serious Amen. condition. Amen. But God is able. God is able. Amen. God is Amen. Able. Good night, everybody. Mm -hmm. The blessings of the Lord make it rich. There's no